against the flow. Against the flow. Love with Snake against the flow. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome to another brand new, fresh edition of Against the Flow. You are with me. My name is Jordan, and I'm your host. And today on the program, pag-usapan natin kung paano maging malakas. Maging mas malakas sa pagmamahal, that is. And we're going to take a look at a passage found in the Bible. It's a famous chapter, and I'm sure you guys have read it or heard it in a wedding. But today, we're going to learn on this, on how we can apply this to everyone, really, okay? So you want to know how to do that? Keep it right here on Against the Flow. Against the Flow. You're on Against the Flow, our official hashtag. Pagigamit nyo lang ATF Love Strong. So yung iyong pagmamahal, ganong kalakas ba to? And to find out, let's read 1 Corinthians 13. It says there, love is patient, it's kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, and love does not delight in evil, but always rejoices with the truth. It always protects, hopes, always perseveres. So, ang love talaga, kailangan nito eh. I mean, hindi lang ito pang Valentine's eh. At hindi lang ito pang romansa. Dapat ito para sa lahat. So, sana all, mahalin natin, ano? So, this passage, we usually read it in the weddings and we think about the bride and the groom. When in reality, it's about the bride of Christ. Paano ba mahalin yung church? Kasi nga, it was going out to the Corinth church by the Apostle Paul. So when I get back, pag natin little by little yung passage na to para tayo maging mas love strong. Against the flow. Back here on Against the Flow, how do we love stronger? First, you got to honor others. The Bible talks about how the body is many parts, pero it forms one body, and each part complements each other. So dapat daw ino-honor natin ang isa't isa. Kasi nga, love does not dishonor others. So rather than dishonor, i-honor natin. We need to learn how to celebrate other successes. Kasi nga, you can't be happy. Uh, you can't be happy if you're envying. That's why kung meron kang mahal, you're going to celebrate other successes and not just yours. So being happy can also mean being happy for others who have become successful. So don't forget that you have to count your blessings and not theirs, okay? So again, stop counting their blessings, count yours. And you need to celebrate everything really in life, not just our own accomplishments. So I'm in church, I like to say we like to celebrate every little thing, every little achievement, spiritual birthdays, birthdays, anniversaries. Yan, hanapin natin yung good sa isa't isa din. Kasi minsan, mas mabilis tayong hanapin yung ayaw natin sa isa't isa. When really, we should look out for those things that are really like good in other people. See the good in them. And the Bible says this, do not act out of selfish ambition or conceit, but with humility, think of others as being better than yourselves. Mahirap yun, ano? Pero with humility, with love, kaya natin gawin yun. So don't forget to honor everyone, leaders, other members, your brother, your sister, yung umaawi sa'yo, yung makulit, lahat, mali natin. Look what the Bible says, we request you, brothers, that you appreciate those who work hard among you, yung mga spiritual leaders nyo daw, wag kayong maging pasaway. Alam niyo recently, sa basketball, sa US, there is uh, this young superstar and he is suspended indefinitely. Sayang, kasi ang bata pa niya at yung team niya is a contender this year for the championship. Pero, nagkaroon daw sila ng huddle, ng team, ng meeting about their behavior off the court and avoid going out kapag sila on the road and facing other teams. Alam niyo tong kanilang player na to, after that meeting, ginawa pa rin niya yung gusto niya and in this situation, yung nangyari sa kanya, he, would, he did something illegal at nakita yun sa camera and now he is suspended and the news is baka daw the whole year pa. So sayang ano? And then sayang din if we don't listen. Just, so just like this guy, sayang because he didn't listen to his teammates. Tayo rin sayang if we don't listen to our church mates. Against the flow. Love with snake. Against the flow. Back here on ATF talking about how to love better or stronger. The next is you gotta seek others good. 
The Bible says that love is not self-seeking. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your all soul, all your strength. And then the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. So meaning to say, kung mahal mo talaga si Lord, ito dapat ang ginagawa mo. Pero mahalin mo yung iba. Matuto kang mga usta. Kapag merong may sakit, kapag merong uh, namatayan, brokenhearted, anything. Be the reason for someone that they feel seen, heard, welcomed, valued, and most of all, loved. Philippians 2.4 says this, Let each of you look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. One time I went out with my young nephew and akala ko magugustuhan niya yung mag-ukay-ukay kami kasi mahilig siyang sa mga t-shirts ng mga banda. So sabi ko, tulungan kita maghanap ng t-shirts. Tara, punta tayo ng thrift store. And when we went, I noticed na na-board siya after a few minutes there. So it's not really his thing, unlike his uncle, no? So I decided, hmm, plan B. Why don't I take him somewhere else na mas magugustuhan niya at mas ma-enjoy niya? And you know where we ended up going? We ended up food tripping kasi pareho naman kami foodie. <laughs> so love is something that you gotta be willing to do anything talaga. Yung ano ha, hindi pasaway sa Lord ha. Ako, I've been married for 10 years na this year. And one of the lessons in this marriage is sometimes you gotta do the things you hate just so that the one you love doesn't have to do it. So that includes anything, maybe washing the dishes or washing the clothes or sweeping around the house. Maybe you don't like to do that. Pero mas ayaw mo naman na yung mahal mo ang gagawa nito at mahirapan. Di ba? Lalong-lalo na ngayon, ma- my wife is expecting, we are expecting our second child. So sabi ko, just take a back seat, relax. Ako naman na bahala sa next months na habang ikaw, dinadala mo yan. And even earlier sa iyong uh, infant stages sa kanya. And maybe over time, okay lang. <laughs> Mahal ko naman sila lahat eh. Look what Galatians 6.10 says. It says that you do good to all people, especially to those who bring or belong to the family of believers. So lalong-lalo na dapat daw sa mga churchmates mo. And also the Bible speaks about loving your household or looking out for your household. And isa din sa important qualities ng church leader is kung hindi ka marunong mag-manage sa house, you cannot manage in the church. So dapat ganun, okay? Hey guys, what is up? Quest here, and I go against the flow. Let's go. Against the flow. Back here on Against the Flow, talking about paano ba magmahal ng mas malakas. And 1 Corinthians 13 teaches us this next thing, which is it's kind of tough, but kaya yan. It says, be slower to anger. Because love is not easily angered. The problem is we live in a world that is easily triggered. Magpost ka lang kahit ano online. And it, no matter how nice it is or how good your intention is, someone else is going to react negatively. But the Bible says love is patient. Love is kind. So you got to be more patient talaga. Our God is a God who is described as one who is slow to anger, abounding in love and forgiveness. And so... Tayo, dapat gayahin natin sa Lord. Kung mabilis kang magalit masyado, wala ka siguro sa love or kulang ka nito. So we live in a world that is so easily angered. And dapat tayo, ibayin natin mga Kristiyano, go against the flow. Rather than be slow uh, to forgive, be quick to forgive. The Bible says you should be slow to uh, being anger and quick to listen. So maybe there are differences uh, between a person who is a mature and one who is immature. Ito daw yung difference. Listen, a person who is mature is someone who is hard to offend. Pero yung immature is someone who is easily offended but hard to please. So meron ba tayong quick tempers? Because those things are not good. It results in snap judgment and seeking instant vindication or revenge and refusing to give second chances. However, ang true love, it refuses to jump into conclusions or take revenge or judge. Merong benefit of the doubt. Alam mo, mas makakabuti talaga sa atin if we learn how to not get so easily offended. Look what Proverbs 19.11 teaches. A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory that to overlook an offense. So according to this passage, meron kang wisdom, meron kang patience, 
Tapos na-overlook mo pa yung anger, hindi mo masyadong hinold as a grudge or hindi ka maging bitter. And then it's to your glory. So there are things that irritate me. I'm human like you. Things that irritate me are people like makulit masyado, paulit-ulit, or telling me something I already know. But the thing is, the Bible says that we should be quick to forgive. So rather than be quick to be offended or irritated, be quick to forgive. May kasabihan nga na ang mag-asawa daw, dapat hindi mo na matulog habang mag-aaway. Kaya may nakita nga akong picture na isang mag-asawa na tatlong araw na silang hindi natutulog dahil hindi pa sila magkabati-bati. Kaya lalaki talo ng eye bag. But you know what? The Bible says, in your anger, don't sin. It didn't say don't be angry, but don't sin. And then it says, don't let the sun go down while you're still angry. Why? Because nakakaroon ng kapit ang galit. And it says, do not give the enemy or the devil a foothold. Okay? Kaya patawarin mo na. Let go mo na. Mas madali yun kesa naman sa maging... <coughs> because that's what unforgiveness is. It's poison. Ganyan. Parang na-chochok tuloy ako. So you have to learn how to forgive even the littlest things. Because, alam nyo, pag hindi kayo nagpapatawad ng little things, nag-iipon-ipon yan. And then, in the end, malaki yan. Tapos... Ayun, you, you, you end up being the ones who suffer. So love will guide us in properly handling our anger. Okay? So magkakaroon tayo ng anger management kung meron talaga tayong love. Because love puts the brakes on anger. And we should overflow, not with galit, pero with love. Look what the Bible says. One more verse before we get into a song. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, Slow to anger. Masyara tayong mabilis mag-speak. Masyara tayong mabilis maging angry, di ba? But it says, For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Against the flow. Love with snake. Against the flow. You know, you're really going against the flow kapag you're not letting your anger get the best of you, but you're letting love be the best of you, you know? So here's the last thing I'm going to tell you how you can love stronger, and that is stop recording wrongdoings. You know, people say they love each other, but the problem is once that person sins against us, out comes a list of past sins, accusations, and bygones. Alam niyo ba kung bakit tinawag na bygones? Kasi nga, by, gone, na dapat siya. And it's a clear expression of God's love and forgiveness kapag tayo ay hindi tayo nagre-record ng mga mali ng iba. Ang dami kasing fault finder sa mundo ngayon eh. If you hold a record, you tend to share that to others. And that's when and gossiping happens. Or sabihin natin, sabihin mo, hindi naman to chismis eh. Totoo to eh. Oh, pero backstabber ka naman. Hindi ka nga gossip or backstabber naman. That's also bad. So someone who gossips about and backstabs other people, mag-ingat din daw tayo kasi baka naman daw or malamang ginagawa din nila ito sa iyo. Kaya ikaw, once na nasesense mo na nagkakaroon, change topic or change the crowd na or leave the conversation. It's better. So when you are offended by others, what what do you do? Um, here's something I, I made. I saw some something on the online that uh, has really taught me what to do when you are offended. Take a look at this, di ba? So when you're offended, do you tell others about it or do you tell God about it? Because there is a clear difference of the outcome depending on how you react. So maybe hindi mo kayang i-control yung actions ng iba, pero nasa sa iyan how you can react to offenses against you. And in the end, you could either follow God's way or your way. You know, I was just thinking... Maybe the reason why love keeps no record of wrongs is because it's too busy keeping record of good. Against the Flow You are still watching and listening to Against the Flow brought to you by the Church of the Nazarene and the station. Before I go, guys, please do us this favor. like nyo lang po ang Facebook page natin. It's Against the Flow Media. We've also got Twitter at Against the Flows. Got TikTok and Instagram at Against the Flow TV. And you can always, always email us. We'd love to hear from you. It's weareagainsttheflow at gmail.com. Against the Flow you know, praise God for love because really, 
It's what makes the world a better place. Punong-puno ng galit, punong-puno ng hate ang world natin. So buti na lang, binigyan tayo ng Lord ng description kung ano ba talaga yung love. Kasi nga, ang layo ng description ng love ng Bible versus yung tinatry ng mundo kung paano i-define ito. Kasi ang mundo natin napaka-selfish eh. And yet, what does love do? Uh, the real love that God gives to us and tells us to uh, do and carry out. Look what it says in this verse. It says, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So, balik ta rin yun, and that's what you get in the world. Pero, ang real love from the Lord, that's what happens. And it seems like, ang kailangan talaga natin magpaka-close sa isa't isa. Kasi even when we joke around, for instance, this can also be the difference between a person who is uh, close sa isa or hindi. Kasi halimbawa, hindi ka naman magjo-joke sa isang tao na hindi mo ka-close. Or, hindi mo naman jo-joke ng below the belt kung mahal mo yung tao. And the same way, kung ikaw naman ay on the receiving end of a bad joke or walang, wala sa timing, mahal mo yung kapatid mo. So, hindi mo pag-iisipan. Hindi ka naman masyado magiging ultra-sensitive sa kanya. So, both ways. Kung masyado kang joker at nakaka-offend ka, uh, let love be your guide. And the same time, kung ikaw naman nasa kabila ng Naasar ka na, naiinis ka na, uh, wag ganun, wag ka masyadong, wag ka masyadong magtampo kung mahal mo naman talaga ang tao na yun, okay? Kasi alam nyo, mas mahirap mahalin din ang mga Kristiyano. Ito pa yung kaya siguro sinulat ng 1 Corinthians 13. Kasi kung ang nagkasala sa'yo, hindi Kristiyano, parang okay lang yun, hindi naman siya Christian eh. Compared to kung Kristiyano siya, how did this person do that to me? Eh pare-pareho naman tayo talagang imperfect. We may not be perfect. But we are being perfected by a perfect God. Kaya, alam mo, kung paano ba tayo magmahal? Paano ba tayo magpatawad? Jesus says, forgive up to 77 times. Okay? So, that will make you stop listing how many times a person has done a wrong against you. Kasi nga, it keeps no record of wrongs. So, the Bible is not saying to let people na sagasaan ka lang or abuse ka. But the goal is to have a spiritual or a spirit of reconciliation. So forgive when others ask it and let the past stay in the past. If we can love our own people, family natin, or the church, then we can better be lovers of others, especially the lost and those who are hurting. It starts here. Eh? So I hope and pray na lahat kayo will love stronger as a result of watching and listening to this. Thank you so much for watching again and listening. My name is Jordan and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, only dead fish swim with the current. So lahat tayo, let's go against the flow. Against the flow.